Need them soon enough. That sounds like her. Thank you. I should have seen this coming. Of course he would hire men to keep me from Redmar. They died for his pride. Where is Assis now? He's gone after Redmar. This way. Hurry! Why is Assis going after Redmar alone? Vanity. He doesn't want to share credit for the kill with his thrush. Sponsor did the same. Went after Redmaw alone out of pride, even though he knew we needed to win see the seas. Redmaw went from here. I can follow their tracks. <clears throat> this way. Redmaw destroyed these trees. I fear we're too late. There he is, Red Maw. Assis is 
holding his own. Was. Was holding his own. Well, we have our work cut out for us.
by the sun. We did it. Hello there, beautiful. We make a great team. And now, you're the Sunhawk. About that. Party, little plant. You'll help. Talana, he's still alive. Out of the way, Nora Filth. You're done. The Lodge is finally free of your influence. I kept it alive in dark times. No, you buried it along with my father's memory. I should have... I should have... I should have let you fight Redmaw first, to soften him up. Damn. Here lies the Sunhawk of the Hunter's Lodge. It's almost a shame. After all that, you're gonna weep for him. Oh, no. I just wish I could have seen his face when I succeeded him. <sighs> okay, then. Meet me back at the Hunter's Lodge, if you have the time. I have a feeling the new Sunhawk wants to welcome you.
not our business, is it? We've got enough to be worried about. What cost you a shard just to look? I want you. Any less. Hawk Bradavin Khan Padish, cherished brother, and Sunhawk Talavad Khan Padish, beloved father. Let their memory and sacrifice be a beacon for all hunters, all people, to follow. Look, a memorial to my father and brother, and all the men who died in the Sunring. You made this possible, Aloy. Thank you. So, what's it like to be Sunhawk? It feels like sunrise after a long night. <laughs> I'm in your debt. You'll always have a special home here, if you want it. What happens now, in the Lodge? As Sunhawk, I've made sure we invite prospective members based on ability and drive, regardless of Karja blood. This lodge will be a stale bastion of the old regime no longer. What was that prayer you were saying when I first came in? I didn't hear all of it. O oh, great sun, make treaty with the moon to give our fallen quiet rest. Burnish them with the armor of your brazen heat. Give them shafts of sunlight for spears. Illuminate the path to the skies for each one of them. Hawk Gravid Khan Morza. Hawk Sarav Khan Pir. Hawk Yusalin Khan Jagir. Hawk Kulasiv Khan Savali. Hawk Bradavin Khan Padish, cherished brother. And Sun Hawk Talavad Khan Padish, beloved father. Let their memory and sacrifice be a beacon for all hunters, all people, to follow. Well, congratulations, Talana. I should get going. Thank you, Aloy, despite the Nora. <laughs> May you always take your prey.
Last light. Gotta stay sharp. Useful. <clears throat> Just go about your business. for the history lesson. But they have no idea what lies beneath. We will learn much from this Aloy. That's what I'm hoping. Low and quiet does it.
priesthood and the noble thing they deserve to have enough for the rest of us. The Sun Ring. It's not like this in Meridian. At least. Lodge. The sun has been... Now we get to see if your attack on their focus network was entirely successful. <laughs> what are you talking about? Did I cry? Success. Welcome to the Citadel, Aloy. I'll check back with you in a moment. In the meantime, circulate. to hear about today's bounties, head for the throne room. You're not going to make any shards by standing out here. Filthy mercenary bottom feeders. I'll take the shards, I hear even if it means you. having to listen to Bahavas. I hear the Shadow Conjurer are looking for one of their own. Should pay well. You're not staying long, I assume. By the glory of the sun revealed. Behold, radiant Edaman, the one true sun king, the light in shadow, whose will is light and whose light is law. I command Lucian Bahavas to speak in my behalf. By the will of Radiant Edaman does the sun glare down mercilessly upon the traitor Uthid. To the hunter who brings his head to us shall go a bounty of 500 shards. More prisoners than royalty, don't you think? Hmm. Love your hair. You and I need to chat, little huntress. The green tent down in Shadowside? I'll be waiting. Kind of busy. We both know you're no killer for hire. Uthid is innocent. So come see me 
while there's still time to save him. So, the way in I spoke of is right behind you. You've got to be kidding. Not at all. And you needn't worry about the Kestrels. They'll be too busy acting important to pay attention to you. First time in the Citadel, gotta see the sun ring from on high. Oh, the Kestrels. Ah, they want us to see this, boy. It makes this is quite insane. an impression. Hardly. They're going to see me. You underestimate the ease of hiding in plain sight. In the, bal the balustrade. It's a short drop from there. Other side of the tower. Look for a vent. <sighs> I see you've been here before. Obviously. Now, it's very important that you hear what I'm about to say. I've shown you the way in, but this humble vent marks a point of no return. Before you descend into the depths here, you should be fully committed, equipped, and focused. No distractions. If you have errands to run, do them first or hold your peace. I won't tolerate whining. Is that clear? You'll tolerate what I give you, Silence. I didn't ask you along for the ride. I'm heading down. I've spent a lifetime trying to uncover the secrets of this world. Where the machines came from. How the old ones achieved such marvels only to fall into silence and death. A lifetime of failure. As year by year, decade after decade, I hit walls I could not break, doors I could never breach. Hello. Until a Nora Huntress marched out of the savage east. And, voila, for her, all the deepest secrets of the Earth were laid bare. I suspect you will have an easier time with this door than I did years ago. Oh, for item to scan. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Malfunction. 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 Are you kidding me? You don't hear me laughing. Shut up. There's gotta be another way. Hey! Elizabeth Sobek here! Requesting access! Access request acknowledged. Root command functions available. Do you wish to proceed? I do! Get me through this door! Analyzing. Primary access inoperable due to mechanical failure. Emergency venting procedure likely to circumvent blockage. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Emergency venting authorized. everything that will draw attention we won't have this place to ourselves for long now we last i checked i was the one whisking my life down here yes fine now will you please get moving there's so much to learn in less time than i'd hoped welcome to project zero dawn zero dawn we found it are you really so surprised? Facility diagnostics detect multiple failures. Attempting repair. So, what was this room? An entrance hall, perhaps. Have a look around. Please take a seat and wait for your name to be called. A selection of beverages and snacks are available. A smaller room. Please proceed into viewing room one for an important message 
regarding the purpose of your visit. States of America. I'm sure you've heard the rumors that Zero Dawn is a top secret super weapons program, the technological miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague if Operation Enduring Victory can hold off the robots long enough. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is that I'm the one who spread them, and they are all lies. Zero Dawn is not a super weapons program, and it will not save us. Nothing will save us. Here's why. By the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh Plague. Nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on Earth will be destroyed. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. Global extinction is inevitable. No matter how many we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. But since their cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, cracking a code set would take half a century. At best, we've got 16 months. Not exactly what you'd call a survival option. The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it, hibernating, waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lies. Lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. Why? One reason. To buy time for you and the work you will do here. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. The hope of zero dawn is that something new might come after. But I will leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Harris. Out. That doesn't make sense. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. He said it could not be stopped. But it was. Somehow... Somehow Elizabeth saved us. I've, I've got to keep looking. Find out how she did it. 